Thousands of Canadians are waiting for a life-saving organ transplant. And sadly, about 25% of the people on that waiting list die every year. But as Tess Van Stratton shows us in this week's Vital People, living organ donors can help save countless of lives. And that's why a Victoria man decided to donate part of his liver to a total stranger. Matt Terlunen likes to help others, but how he decided to make a difference this year surprised many people, including his family. My wife's reaction at first was, uh, she was rather surprised because I said, well, for New Year's resolution, I'd like to save a life and I'd like to give away an organ. Um, but she quickly got around to the idea because she knows me. Matt flew to Toronto a few months ago to donate part of his liver to a child he doesn't know and will never meet. Sometimes you just help people you don't know and you'll never see because it's just, it's just the right thing to do. Unlike a family member donating an organ to a relative, altruistic donors like Matt sign up to save the life of a stranger. Altruistic uh, donors are phenomenal individuals. They simply do this because they want to help a person in need. And I personally am always blown away by their generosity, their kindness, uh, their selflessness. Thousands of Canadians are waiting for a life-saving organ donation, but sadly, about 25% of people die waiting. That's why living donors like Matt are so important. The beauty about the living donation is, first of all, the liver regenerates and grows back to the full size in the, in the person who is donating the portion of their liver. It will go also grow to a full size in the recipient. But surgery isn't without risks, and the recovery period is at least six to eight weeks. The risks for me are, are far less than someone on the wait list who has a 25% of dying the next year. Between the two of us, it's probably better that I take the risk than have them take the risk. Matt had to go through an extensive medical and psychological testing process that took several months, and he says his family's support was crucial. I wouldn't have done this if my nine-year-old Pippin wouldn't have proved it, because it's his dad that has to take a risk, and I would not want this to be traumatic for him or, or too scary. Matt now hopes his story will inspire others to consider being a living donor. It's nice to do nice things, and it was high time for a bit of, I don't know, sunshine in the world, so that's just, it's just a kind thing to do. It's really not that complicated. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.